<clears throat> this would test our understanding of the concepts so far. First, the parties to joint venture are called A. Co-venturers B. Partners C. Principal and agent and D. Friends The parties to the joint venture are called co-venturers therefore the correct answer should be A. Next, which of the following statement is true? Only one venturer bears the risk B. Only one venturer can sell the goods. C. Only one venturer can purchase the goods. D. In joint venture, provisions of partnership act apply. Which of the following statement is true? Only one venturer bears the risk is not true. One venturer only can sell the goods, not true. Only one venturer can purchase, not true. Therefore, the correct answer should be D. In joint venture, provisions of Partnership Act apply. Next, which of the following statement is true? Again, A. Co-venturers always shares profits and losses equally. B. Number of co-venturers can never be more than two. The relationship between co-venturers is that of principal and agent. D. Co-venturers may contribute funds for running the venture. Which of the following statements is true? Do the co-venturers always share profits and loss equally? Not necessarily. It will depend on the agreement. Number of co-venturers can never be more than two. There may be two or more co-venturers. So this is also false. The relationship is that of a principal and agent. No, they are partners. That is not true. Co-venturers may contribute funds for running of a venture. That is right. Therefore, the correct answer should be D. The co-venturers may contribute funds for running the venture. Next. Following are the characteristics of joint venture except A. No common firm name. B. Contribution of funds. C. Sharing of profits or losses. D. None of these. Following are the characteristics of joint venture except that means following are the characteristics of what is not a characteristic of joint venture basically. No common firm name. It is true. Contribution of funds. Yes, there is contribution of funds by the co-venturers. Sharing of profits and losses. Yes, profits and losses are shared. None of these. Therefore, the correct answer should be none of these because all the above hold good for a joint venture and our question is following are the characteristics of joint ventures except except so the correct answer is none of these next in case of a joint venture a minor a can be a co-venturer for the benefit of the venture b can be a co-venturer if all other co-venturers agree c can be a co-venture if permitted by the competent authority and D cannot be a co-venturer. A minor cannot be a co-venturer and therefore the correct answer should be D. Next, if separate set of books is maintained and discount is received at the time of purchase of goods, then such a discount will be treated as discount for purchase of goods would be treated as a income of joint venture hence credited to joint venture account expense of joint venture hence debited to joint venture account will not be recorded in the books of account or would be credited to co-venturers account discount on purchase of goods so if purchased goods when we pay money we get a discount we pay less therefore it's an income an income of joint venture would be credited to joint venture account our correct answer should therefore be a option a <clears throat> next if separate set of books is maintained and a bill of exchange is received from a customer it is discounted then such a discount would be treated as a Income of joint venture, therefore credited to joint venture. Expense of joint venture, therefore debited to joint venture. It will not be recorded in the joint venture books of account. 
or it would be credited to co-venturer's account. So what are we talking about here? We are talking about a discount on a bill of exchange. If we receive a bill of exchange, we discount it usually in a joint venture. Since it's a short term period, a bill of exchange could be discounted immediately. The discounting charges would be an expense. It would be treated as an expense of the joint venture and therefore debited to the joint venture account. So what is this option? This option is B option, expense of joint venture and hence debited to joint venture account. Next, which of the following statement is false? It's false. Which of the following statement is false? Joint venture is a going concern. B. Joint venture is terminable in nature. C. Joint venture does not follow a cruel basis of accounting. D. The co-venturer shares the profit in agreed ratio. Which of the following statements is false? And <clears throat> the co-venturer... If you take option D, the co-venturer shares profit in the agreed ratio, that's right. C, joint venture does not follow accrual basis of accounting. No, it does not. It follows realization basis, liquidation basis. Joint venture is terminal in nature. Yes, that is also true. Therefore, A, joint venture is a going concern. No, it is not a going concern. It is a partnership. It's a short-term partnership. And therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following statements is false? So joint venture is a going concern is not true. It is false. And that would be the correct answer. The remaining three statements are true. Next, for opening a joint bank account, in case of separate sets of books, A, venture account will be debited and venturer's account will be credited. B, Joint bank account is debited and venturer's capital account is credited. C. Joint venture account is debited. Joint bank account will be credited. D. Joint bank account will be debited and joint venture account will be credited. For opening joint bank, joint bank would be debited and co-venturer's capital accounts would be credited. So joint bank, therefore option B gives you this. Joint bank account debit to venturer's capital account. Option B. Next, for purchase of plant from funds in joint bank account in case separate set of books are maintained, the correct journal entry will be A. Plant account debit joint bank credit. Joint venture account debit joint bank credit. Plant account debit venturer's capital account credit. Joint venture account debit, plant account credit. When plant is purchased from joint bank account, I repeat there is no difference between plant and any other expense. There is no differentiation between expense and asset. So if money is spent, joint venture account debit to joint bank account should be the correct entry. Joint venture account debit to joint bank that gives us option B. Correct answer is option B. Which of the following statements is true? When separate set of books is maintained, expenses paid by venturer will be credited to joint bank account. B. When separate set of books is maintained, expenses paid by venturer will be credited to the venturer's capital account. C. When separate set of books is maintained, expenses paid by venturer will be credited to joint venture account. D. When separate set of books is maintained, expenses paid by venturer will be credited to outstanding expenses account. Let us just go through these sentences once. When separate set of books is maintained, expenses which are paid by the venturer, if it's paid by the venturer, will be credited to joint bank account? No, it would be credited to the venturer's account. So this is wrong. When separate set of books is maintained, expenses which are paid by the venturer 
will be credited to the venturer's capital account. What would be the entry? Joint venture to venturer's capital account. So this would be correct. I'll just go through the other two uh, statements. Though I've got the answer, B appears to be the correct answer. When separate set of books is maintained, expenses paid by the venturer will be credited to joint venture account. No, it would be debited to joint venture account, right? Because it is an expense. And when separate set of books is maintained, expenses which are paid by the venturer is credited to outstanding expense account. No, it would be credited to the joint venturer's account. Therefore, the correct answer is B.